Good evening, Niseko. I'm Jeff Curry, and you are listening to Into the Mystic, a program where I talk about the power and mystery of the music that moves us, and I'll be introducing artists that I've had the good fortune to know and make music with over the years. And it's been a real pleasure sharing the new music from the mostly foreign community here in Japan to the English-speaking community here in Niseko. Uh, I'd like to to let you know in addition to this broadcast I also archive all these shows on my YouTube channel and you can check the past shows there my YouTube channel is at mark Jeff Curry 2881 that's at J-E-F-F-C-U-R-R-Y 2881 so check out the, the past shows there and I'll be continuing to upload throughout the months and uh, today I want to talk about a good friend of mine pianist Dennis Lambert. Uh, Dennis is probably the pianist that I've worked with uh, most in all my time here in Japan. Maybe. Uh, it's a, I think it's a close tie between him and Simon Cosgrove, but I don't know for sure. Um, we've been almost everywhere together, touring all over Japan, and uh, I'm really, really hoping that I can bring him up to Niseko one day. That would be great. Uh, seems like everybody I feature on this uh, show are extremely funny individuals, and Dennis is definitely no exception. Uh, We've had a lot of late night hangs and laughs in the hotel lobbies while we're on tour. And I remember, um, we always stay at this one place close to Sendai, and it's in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we would finish the gig and then hit the kombini and stock up on uh, beer and snacks and then bring a Bluetooth speaker and sit in the hotel uh, lobby until like 3 a.m. just talking about music or telling funny stories and uh, you know of course uh, laughing it up so that's tour life and I kind of miss it but it's uh, yeah it's, it was a great time and uh, what I really like about Dennis's playing is his sense of groove uh, he really understands that that groove in music is the most important thing and he can do a lot of amazing things on piano he's an he's an excellent pianist he can play whatever you know it doesn't matter how difficult it is he can do it it's just uh he he never loses the groove which is really important to me i guess because i'm a bass player and that's what i really try to do uh and another thing he's uh he's really inspiring because he's really driven and hardworking. i really like his his work ethic you know all the all the fans that he has and the albums that he's released it's just uh, due to his really great work ethic so he deserves uh, all the accolades that he gets and speaking of accolades he uh, he's been in the Air Force for eight years and he uh, won the musician of the year for the entire Air Force musician field so that's that's saying something. There's a lot of great musicians that were in the uh, Air Force. And he's released six albums of his own. Symptoms of Volition, Inner Reflections, From This Moment On, Testimony, Vital Signs, and Perseverance. And I want to play a track from Dennis's Dennis's, uh, 2020 release, Testimony. And uh, this album features some great musicians and... um, He's got Kingo Nakamura on bass, Dennis Frace on drums, Earl Winterhawk Spencer, who I've covered here on percussion, Mai Hatch on vocals, Jim Butler on saxophone, James Brunell on trombone, and Patrick Moody on trumpet. And Patrick has been up here to New Seco to play with us before. So anyway, this is Dennis Lambert's arrangement of Night and Day.
Wow, absolutely killer arrangement and great piano solo on Cole Porter's Night and Day, arranged by Dennis Lambert. Very, very nice. And uh, you can find a lot of info about Dennis online, um, but probably the best place to keep up with him is on his Instagram page. And his Instagram handle is at Mark Dennis Lambert Piano. Also, he has a big birthday show with his band BXP on April 16th at the famous jazz club Body and Soul, now in Shibuya. And you can check him out on Spotify and Apple Music or wherever you stream your music because he's on pretty much every major platform there is. So please take time and check him out. All right, and that, another track I want to feature is um, is Dennis's latest release with uh, Jim Butler. Um, Jim and Dennis are like two peas in the pod. They are very, very tight. And they were both in the Air Force together. And that's who I t- toured Japan with uh, extensively was Jim Butler's group. And Dennis has always been the piano player in that group. So, uh, yeah, they've made a lot of great music together over the years. And uh, they, just, they just got off a massive tour in Japan for this record. And this is called Ligia from the album Perseverance. Ligia from the album Perseverance, and that's uh, Jim Butler and Dennis Lambert. And please go to Dennis's Instagram and follow him at Dennis Lambert Piano. 
And he's on all the uh, usual channels as well, like uh, Facebook and YouTube and all the all the stuff that everybody does. So go check him out. And um, please don't forget that I archive these shows on my YouTube channel. And if you want to hear some past performances, please go to uh, Jeff Curry 2881 on YouTube. All right. Unfortunately, that's all we got time for today. So please join me again next week at the same time and channel for more great music. And remember, you can catch myself and Yuka Sato playing live at La Villa Lupicia and Sansui Niseko nightly. Thanks for listening to Into the Mystic.